Hello, Donnie Nolan here again. I really wanted to show you all our worm bin composting system. So when we started the greenhouse, we decided to add worm bin composts so that all of our biodegradable waste from the program gets decomposed right here on site and turns into soil that we can then use in the gardens. So um, basically some of our um, burlap from the microgreens and um, any other waste um, including cardboard and roots and leaves and things. Um, as long as they're not uh, infested with any pests, we can put them in these trays in our worm bins. So these are the um, worm factory systems that I bought on Amazon. And um, they're $100 each, just about. And they last um, pretty much forever. And I really like them because they have this stand underneath this contains a drainage basin, which is absolutely key when you're using a worm bin. So you can make a worm bin out of any containers. Um, it just needs to have a drainage basin. You don't want your worms to be drowning and you don't want your, um, your biodegradable items to sit in solid water because they'll, they'll smell really bad. And this is a drain spout. You can very easily turn this on and, and, and collect the water that drains out. So uh, you can use that as um, compost tea as well and just uh, and water, it, water your plants with it. Um, so this is a multi-tier multi, multi system. Oh, look at all those worms. <laughs> so um, you can just feed one tray at a time and let other trays um, age and get longer and they nest into one another. So it works really well. Um, I've had these for about five years. And I just want to show you how it turns into pretty much soil. And this soil is full of fertilizer and nutrients. It has really great moisture retention and really good drainage at the same time. You can use this straight up in um, pots for um, potted plants. You don't have to add anything else to it. This is beautiful soil. Oh, and it smells really good. The key to having a worm bin not stink is balancing your greens and your browns. So the greens are a nitrogen source, um, like all fresh plants are high in nitrogen. However, too much nitrogen in your worm bin and it will get smelly and really like wet and gooey. Um, and then you have your carbon sources, which um, carbon's the building block of life. So when everything else is broken down, the carbon's what's left. So this burlap or cardboard, paper, newspaper, um, and they're not always brown, like coffee grounds are pretty fresh, so those are pretty high in nitrogen. But anything that's like mostly dead, so for example, fresh um, grass clippings are high in nitrogen when they're fresh and green, but once they turn brown, kind of like a straw texture, then it's just the carbon that's left. It's really important to have a good carbon to nitrogen balance. Um, 30 to one, carbon to nitrogen is the best for compost, but that's really difficult to get as long as you have like a one to one or I like to do a two to one. So if you're adding a handful of fresh greens like kitchen scraps and coffee grounds, you want to add at least one if not two handfuls of carbon such as um, paper and um, like cereal boxes and um, some people say that magazines aren't good, um, that shiny um, paper doesn't break down as well, but the ink is carbon based and it's fine. Now you should remove tape from boxes. Um, but if you don't remove it right away, it's okay because it won't break down and it'll always be there for you to um, get rid of later. Um, I've also added some um, mosquito bits and um, beneficial nematodes. That's what this stuff is here. You can buy this from um, the local garden center and this helps to keep any flies out. So I don't have any flies breeding in my worm bin and this works really well. So we can take all of our biodegradable waste, food scraps, junk mail, newspaper, boxes, things like that, and turn it into a renewable product that is um, healthy soil. So I highly recommend that every household has a worm bin. It's amazing. You do not have to have a yard. You don't need a yard to compost. So um, even if you have an apartment or a condo, you can still compost. And if you do this correctly with the right carbon nitrogen balance and with the beneficial um, microbes to keep flies out it should not be stinky and it should not be a nuisance at all it's absolutely amazing you can get free soil out of it so hope you enjoyed my tutorial and hopefully you're inspired to make your own worm bin one day thanks for watching